go discuss some further D23 news, plus a little bit of uh, universal news with dining. All right. So this week we got some news about a new promotional package at Universal. It is called the Dining Card Promotional Package, which is uh, not a very creative name. <laughs> But the the details are pretty good. So the booking window has actually already started. It started on the 15th of August and it goes all the way through like next year. So you've got plenty of time to book. You can travel between November 7th. So it doesn't start for a few months, like the actual travel part. And- uh, Rachel, tell Josh that we hate to see him go, but we love to watch him leave. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <He's pretty good. laughs> I didn't even know he came behind me. Facts. <laughs> <He's laughs> <walking> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a long day. Uh, let me see where I was. So the the travel window is it starts November seventh, so it's in a few months, and it goes all the way till April tenth. And so I want us to like keep that date in mind, April tenth of twenty twenty five. And then the blockout dates, the only blockout dates are holiday break. So it's the twentieth of December through the fourth of January. It is available at all of the Universal Hotels, and that includes the Value Hotels, which is the Endless Summer Resorts. It is even available at the new Stella Nova Resort and the Terra Luna Resort for when they open, and they open in 2025. So that like first piece of 2025, if you want to stay at the new hotels, you can still get this promotion. Oh, wow. So basically, any hotel that's open within that period at Universal is available for this. Yeah. You're saying, yep. wow, okay. Yeah. Lux, you- whatever they yep. did take a page out of disney's book so you get more or less in your dining card based on what hotel you book yeah oh, here's okay. the details there's a catch yeah <laughs> yeah it's the four night minimum stay so no matter where you are it's a four night minimum nice okay. if you book at the uh premier hotels so that's portofino bay hard rock or royal pacific then you get an 800 dollar card for a four night stay or a $1,000 dining card for a five-night stay. For how many people? Well, it's for however many people you have in the room. It's not per person. Ah. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. okay. So it's just like if you have one person, that's how much you get. Four people get $800, 12 people get $800. Yeah. Well, it's- you can't put that many people in a room. Yeah. No. <laughs> but, yeah. Four people in the room, it's $800 each or it's total? No, just total. Wow. Oh, okay. That's different. I know. I know. It's different it's than different. I thought. It's a little different. Per day though, right? No, total. Total, really? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I know. I know. See, this is how I felt when I was reading it. Okay. I like that you're saying this though, because I everybody was like getting real pumped on social media, and I thought like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> then yeah. when you start breaking it down, it's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. So then for Sapphire Falls and Cabana Bay, it's a five hundred dollar card for a four night stay and a six hundred dollar card for a five night stay. For Aventura. Stella Nova and Terra Luna is 400 for a four night stay, 500 for a five night stay. And then if you're at the endless summer resorts, which is their lowest tier resort, the value resorts, it's 300 for a four night stay and 500 for a five night stay. It does have a ticket minimum though. I thought this was the part that I was like, Oh, huh. you have to have a four day minimum ticket and it has to be a park to park. Damn. <laughs> okay. So they're making you stay at least four nights uh-huh. and then you have to get tickets for at least four days. Yeah. It has to be a park to park. Yes. This is, this feels evilly, evilly brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In a yeah. weird way. She wasn't kidding when she said they took a page out of Disney's book. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So it includes all standard room types. The beverage card is per room and then just varies based on the components purchased. And so the components that make it vary is what resort and, and whether it's a four night stay or five or more nights. Back up. You said beverage card. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, I don't know if you've ever been during Mardi Gras at Universal, but they have like, you can buy a food and beverage card at Mardi Gras. That's like you pay, I think it was like you pay $120, but you get a $150 gift card, but it's not a gift card in the sense that you can use it anywhere in Universal. It's only available to be used for food and beverage purchases. Okay. Okay. So it's the same kind of card. So you wouldn't be able to go use it for merchandise and go use it for any food and beverage. So you can even use it at like Cowfish and, and the other places in City Walk. Okay. I, I guess, I guess I got, I'm good with that because that's what it's for, right? Okay. That's, that's right. the piece. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
And so your vacation package would include the beverage, the food and beverage card, your hotel accommodations, your tickets, which are four day minimum ticket, and you get a free five by seven souvenir photograph. Oh, God. <laughs> Those things are a pain in the butt, man. <laughs> uh, it's, that's nice that they do that. But when you go in line to get that photo done, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Question Is there any restaurants that are excluded, or is this just a gift card and you go wherever you want and you use it accordingly? It says the dining card cannot be used at the following locations The Palm, Orlando. I'm not familiar with that. Mm-mm. I don't know if this is Bice, B I C E, Bice Restaurante, Orlando. BJ. No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, Blondie's. I don't know. Those three places are not places I'm familiar with, but you can't okay. use that. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Yeah, me either. Yeah. It's yeah. not City Walk, is it? Is Blondie's like the like the in that cartoon dialogue one? Oh, oh, I don't think so. Like, but like they the do cartoon, have like a yeah. you know, yeah. those news like Blondie and Dad right. yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. I remember because you saw the Dagwood sandwich and everything on the uh, I, on one of the restaurants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Closed when we were there at one time, mm. so we never got to. It could be that. Yeah, but I don't That's think cool. so. Yeah. But it could be. Yeah, That's interesting. What stuck out. All right, all right. Yeah, so that's the details. Some of the things I was surprised about was that it's per room, not per person, and that it is just for four night stays or longer, and you have to have a four day minimum ticket. So that's some things to think about. Yeah, that's basically a trip for people that just do those kind of trips. Yeah. With time with Disney, that's four days committed to Universal and four days at Disney to make your eight day week or something like that. Yeah, right. That would be a long, yeah. You probably wouldn't be able to do both unless you had a real long trip. Right. You'd have to make some decisions for that. The other discouraging thing is is there's not really a lot of fine dining in Universal. No, No, I really like Big Fire. I wouldn't call that fine dining. I I do like it. I think it's pretty good. There is also a great Italian place at um, Portofino Bay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think Mythos is the the gem of Universal currently. I'm I'm now when... Uh, Epic Universe opens. There's a lot of restaurants that look really awesome. I hope they that deliver. Look like they're going to be yeah. fine dining locations that I can't wait to visit. I really hope they deliver. Yeah. I know, me yeah. too. Well, and so on that note, right, this is the travel window is November 7th to April 10th is what's valid for this promotion. Uh-huh. And so I know. So I cannot help but see that and think <laughs> they're concerned about their bookings November 7th to April 10th. But for some reason, they stopped being as concerned April 10th. I wonder why. The universe opens April 11th. <laughs> <laughs> like, who knows? I don't know. They don't have a date announced yet, but I'm feeling a little bit better about my April week four booking. <laughs> like, yeah. I might be right on time. So okay. <laughs> That'd be interesting if Helios opens within that window. Yeah. Like a little tease. Yeah. I thought well, we Helios know. isn't listed. Yeah. Because it's not open. Right. Which could change. Maybe. I don't know. I, I, I'm, not, I'm just, I'm just uh, speculating here. Well, Helios so, isn't opening unless Epic Universe opens. And that's true, right? The park is true, yeah. yeah. So I, I think Rachel's probably right on the money on this one. This <laughs> start booking for May, guys. Oh. I know, real though, right? Like they took away the summer, the word summer on all their stuff. And now it just says 2025. And their, their big dining card promotion, it only goes till April 10th. So. Hmm. They have to get that thing open by the summer travel season. Oh, yeah. I gotta imagine they want that money. Yeah. I could even see them using the end of April as like like a soft opening thing. Yeah, like a soft open. And then, you know, they're good to go by the summer travel 